History, power, style, it's all here in Bob Senek's 1972 Plymouth Barracuda. This is a car we've seen before, but shortly after restoring it in a different color, the car was damaged. A small dent marred the finish, and Bob's heart sank. Someone was locking a car up, and they backed right into the side of the door in the rear quarter here. Uh, it had to be redone. Fortunately, the insurance company agreed to have the entire car repainted. So Bob went to work, prepping the vehicle for the paint shop. This time though, Bob decided to take the car all the way back to its original color. Now Bob's 72 Cuda is back in black. color, the curious yellow that was on there, had to be, uh, couldn't be matched up because of the old paints and gone to the waterborne paint, so they said they had to paint the whole car over again, so that when we decided to go back to the original color. When Bob found this car in Western Canada, it was a basket case, a rust bucket with more rust than bucket. The engine was seized. There really wasn't much to work with, but Bob is a master restorer. It was only supposed to have 10 and a half one pistons, but I think he's got about 11 and a half to 12 in it because the compression ratio is 200 pounds and each cylinder cold. Ooh, wow. Yeah, but it really goes. <laughs> with the new original black paint job, this car is back in its original state, bumper to bumper. It even has the original AM radio with cassette deck and a Mopar microphone that lets you record straight to cassette tape. Cool. It's got plenty of power. The engine has a beefy Mopar rumble, but the 344 barrel is set up to run smooth for cruising. It has an automatic transmission, but it's snappy and it runs great. It's a muscle car you can live with and really enjoy, even on a long trip. Pretty rare. There wasn't that many of them made. Uh, I can't uh, exactly remember the uh, numbers on it, but uh, uh, they were low. They're fairly low for, for Cuda. Bob has restored several old Chrysler products over the years. Every one is a work of art, really, but this one stands alone. It has its own personality and is an award winner. It's a head turner. It's more than a Mopar. It's a piece of rolling history resurrected from a rusty grave by Bob Senek a master muscle car restorer with a passion for Mopars. Rick Walker, SST Car Show News.